The easiest way to install Ubuntu is to use the Wubi installer from within Windows. You won't have to partition your hard disk and it can easily be removed if you change your mind. There are two ways to install Wubi, either from an Ubuntu disk or by downloading the small Wubi utility. Both will end up requiring downloading all of the files for Ubuntu so there isn't much difference in time. We're going to show the process using a CD. Download the Ubuntu disk and burn it to a CD with a utility such as Burnaware. With Windows running, insert the disk in the drive. If the Auto Run dialog appears, select the option to run Wubi. If it doesn't, click on the Start button and then on Computer. Double click on your optical drive with the Ubuntu disk in and then double click on the Wubi icon. Click on Yes when the User Account Control window appears. Click on the middle option, Install Inside Windows. There are several options to set here, including the disk drive to use and how much space should be given to Ubuntu. You can access your Windows files from within Ubuntu, so don't allow for copying files across. Leave the desktop environment set as Ubuntu and the language as English GB, unless you want a different language of course. The most important options here are the username and password. We recommend creating a secure password that uses a combination of different cases, letters and numbers. When you are happy with all of these options, click on the Install button. Ruby will now copy the required files from the CD to the hard disk. When it is finished, it will ask for a reboot. Close down all of your other programs, remembering of course to save any changes. Select Reboot Now and then click on Finish. The computer will automatically boot into Ubuntu to finish the installation. Don't worry because after this it will choose Windows rather than Ubuntu if you don't do anything. The installer will finish copying the files needed by Ubuntu. This might take a little while. It will also get some files from the internet and configure the hardware inside the computer. When it is finished, it will reboot the computer again. You can see that Windows is now the default option, so be ready to press the down cursor to select Ubuntu by pressing Enter. Leave the Ubuntu version as the default in the next menu, and the Ubuntu desktop will load. Log in using the details you set out in the Ruby installer. 